My name is Herb Taylor. I am the Vice President and Corporate Secretary here at the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia, and I want to welcome you all here this morning. Today's conference is the 31st Annual Monetary and Trade Conference arranged by the Global Interdependence Center and the Lebeau College of Business. Traditionally, this conference has been held on the Drexel campus. And we're very pleased to have it here at the Fed this year, and we're particularly pleased because we recognize the importance of this year's topic, fixing the banking system for good. As you all know, I'm sure, the Fed serves as the central bank for the United States, and in that capacity, we supervise and regulate banks. We serve as a payments processor for banks, and it is through the banking system that we execute our monetary policy. So we appreciate the contribution that a good banking system makes to people's economic well-being by providing trustworthy intermediation between borrowers and lenders, by providing a reliable means of transacting the day-to-day -day business of buying and selling, and by providing a stabilizing flow of money and credit overall. And so we are very much interested in fixing the banking system for good. So our mission, of course, focuses on expanding the global dialogue to improve cooperation and understanding among citizens and nations. In the process, we have been around the world organizing uh, conferences. Most recently, uh, we participated in a very well-organized conference uh, in Abu Dhabi, talking about uh, global issues from that part of the world. And, of course, um, we plan to continue our efforts, not only here in Philadelphia, but also uh, around the country. There's the liability side. The liability side would have said, well, okay, by then, under certain growth assumptions, certain inflation assumptions, certain worldwide economic assumptions, currency will be somewhere around the trillion seven. That'll be the liability of the Fed. And the Fed will either roll off the balances or they'll sell. Will they sell or will they not? Well, in the most recent Bernanke speech, essentially Bernanke said, it's not likely. The third point is uh, you could rewrite the tax laws to encourage equity instead of debt, where right now we have exactly the opposite. Equity is never going to be treated or is very unlikely to be treated as a money-like instrument. And globally, the effect that the Fed and that the U.S. has on policy all over the world. And uh, Jeff Sachs said that very clearly, where he's saying, look, the decisions that we end up making have huge effects on everything.